I can't escape them. It doesn't matter how many times I try and escape, how many times I say, it's terrible, how many times I seem to cancel the box, it still turns up. Colossal Crate, Horror Box. I'm, I just, I cancelled it three months ago. It's still here. Welcome, how are you all doing? Hope you're all very well and doing slightly better than me after that minor breakdown. Yes, it is. <sighs> Colossal Crate. Horror box. I've cancelled this box. It's still here. It's still turning up on my doorstep. It's like a poltergeist or some sort of ghost. It's like a thing from Insidious. It's just following me round. Ugh. I... <sighs> anyway, it's a box of horror. Last time it was just... Horrible, absolutely horrible. This time, who knows? I've already cut the things because I couldn't be bothered wasting nine hours trying to cut into it. Can you see the amount of tape? I mean, if you want a box that's fully taped up, this is your box. You want to tape with good stuff in? Maybe not, but we'll see. All right, let's get into it. The first thing, what is this? Oh, it's going to sound great in my mind. Trick or sweet swizzlers. There they are. Drumsticks, love hearts. Love hearts? Why are they in the... Oh, trick or sweets, not trick... Oh, right. Anyway, and refreshers. Ooh, sour refreshers. Ooh, I like refreshers. Ooh. But the rest of it, I don't care about. Trigger sweets, just a bag of sweets from Swizzlers. They've been around since 1928, apparently. Um, I guess it's horror themed. It's a bag of sweets to rot your teeth, which is horrible. If you've got no teeth, it might look kind of scary. I don't know. Oh, I don't eat sweets, so they're of no much use to me. Apart from maybe the refreshers, I think I might eat them. Still, bag of sweets, probably about three quid-ish, maybe? I don't know, I don't buy sweets, so I'm not, like, up on the sweet, bland stuff. What am I saying? Something, something, sweets. Okay, so that wasn't the worst item. Let's keep going, and we have... Ooh, 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 it's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt from... Sid. Who's Sid? Oh, oh, oh. Actually, that's quite nice. Wow. Um. Yeah, definitely horror themed. Kind of nice. It is a t-shirt with some old guy dying and he's got a, like an eye and a pyramid thing on top of his head. Illuminati. And then there's weird snakes and he's got a scythe and there's a grail, maybe the holy grail. Is this what happened to Jesus? I don't know if you're religious. Sorry if you're not. Maybe it is Jesus. I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of, uh, it's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> I quite like it though. That's actually quite a nice t-shirt. It's not geeky, nerdy themed. It's more horror themed, which is what you want. Yeah, I like that. I don't know who's Sid are. Never heard of Sid merch. So that's interesting. If you have, let me know. But that is pretty detailed. That's a very, very nice t-shirt. And as always, t-shirts about a tenner. Okay, so far, not so horrifically horrible. The next item. From the director of Train Spotting and the Beach. Ooh, it's a Danny Boyle film. 28 Days Later. I like this film. I very much like this film. A powerful virus is unleashed, transmitted in a drop of blood and devastating within seconds. The virus locks those infected into a permanent state of murderous rage. Within 28 days, the country is overwhelmed and a handful of survivors begin their attempt to salvage a future, little realizing the deadly virus is not the only thing that threatens them. It's, it's a really good zombie film, starring Cecilia Murphy from Peaky Blinders. If you've seen Peaky Blinders, the main star of that, fantastic actor, doesn't get enough recognition. He is in this from 2002. Gotta check that actually. 2002. Well, hey, got it right. Yeah, uh, there's also 28 weeks later or something, or 28 years last month or something, 20 million years in the past. I don't know. There's a sequel, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I don't remember it to be honest, but 28 days later, fantastically good zombie film. It's a DVD though. You can grab a DVD for about a quid, to be honest. Maybe a fiver at a push, but probably a pound or something. But it's something, if it'd been Blu-ray, I'd be really impressed versus DVD. I'm like, ah, I guess it's okay. It's it's not the worst item. It's something watchable and there's a load of special features and extras. So that's kind of nice. Um, oh, okay. This fossil crate isn't the worst one we've had. Uh, oh dear. Well, there was me just saying these crates maybe not have been the best and suddenly they're doing something right. There are yet more things. Uh, this feels like a book. It is. Zombie Apocalypse Survival Handbook. <laughs> okay. It is literally... Oh, there's no pictures. <laughs> but it, it's literally a zombie survival guide. Zombie senses. 
Sorcerer and Haitian zombie neurotoxins. What? Zombie hunting traits? Hello? Finding a new home during the zombie apocalypse. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of these type of books out there. Some of them funny, some of them really, really serious because people honestly believe a zombie apocalypse will happen. Think about it, people. Think how, how likely that is to happen. So it's a zombie apocalypse book. But, you know, it's, it's pretty good. I quite like a book, so that's all right. It's pretty thick. Decent. A book. I like it. A zombie apocalypse book. Horror. It works. Uh, oh, this isn't the worst crate, is it? It's not. It's not as bad as I thought it was originally. Great. And there is another thing. Ooh, let's see what this is. Ooh, ooh, it's inside a, it's inside a, uh, inside a thing. Uh, polystyrene wrapping stuff. Can we cut this open? This is the worst cutting I've ever done. I think that should be enough. You're doing so well. So well. You could have been a star. You could have been a box I would have resubscribed to. You could have been anything you wanted, and then you put a mug in it! Anyway, there's a mug in here. Um, we haven't had that many mugs this year. Maybe I should reset my mug hatred for a little bit, even though I've still got millions of them. Oh, ho, 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 in blood and a very zombified style Santa. I mean, it's okay. I actually saw these Halloween-ish in Tesco, I think they were, for about a fiver. I mean, it's a basic mug with a basic thing on, but... I mean, it's all right if you want a horrifying mug. It's not the worst thing, but... Oh, I hate mugs. That was Colossal Crate, Horror Crate, January 2018. It won't leave me alone. It's still here. I have cancelled, but it's still turning up on my doorstep like something from the Evil Dead. Shall we see what we had? Zombie Apocalypse Survival Guide. Should the... Should the zombie apocalypse infect the world and try and take over? Now you can survive with this survival book, which will actually probably prove completely useless in an actual zombie apocalypse. Although... It's not going to happen. 20 Days Later DVD. You can get DVDs quite cheap, so maybe a pound to a fiver, but it's a great film. It's a really good film, and if you haven't seen it, it just get a hold of it. Just maybe from this box. I don't know. It's a decent film. You'll probably enjoy it for like zombie things. It's a good horror. Oh, ho, ho, it's a mug. <sighs> trick or tweet. Back, trick or tweet. What? what? Trick or tweet. Trick, <laughs> trick or treat. Bank of sweets. Couldn't pronounce my words then. Trick or treat, bag of sweets to rot your teeth. There's a slogan. You can have that one. Use it in your adverts. Hey. And a lovely t-shirt. I actually like the t-shirt. The t-shirt is pretty decent. Uh, t-shirt, tenner, DVD, pound to a fiver, bag of sweets, three. That's a fiver. Book, five to ten. That's some amount of money I've already forgotten. 24 pounds-ish, maybe, possibly. Not bad. Box is 19.99. 24 quid-ish. But, I mean, it's nothing exclusive, nothing stunning. T-shirt's nice. Mug can go to hell. Sweets are just sweets. DVD, you can get for a quid. The book, 10. I don't know. It's... Oh, you let me know. What do you think of this box? Horror box? Should we get it again? I don't know. Uh, thoughts, things, description. Oh, you know the rest. Thank you to everyone supporting the channel. Your names are in the credits and hopefully spelled correctly now because I had to edit all that because I had half of them wrong. So I'm really, really sorry. I've been doing that for months and some of them were wrong. But now they're right. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It really helps you out. If you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.